This video is going to show you how to convert from binary or base 2 number system into decimal or a base 10 number system. So to understand this concept of number base, let's start off with something that we should all be very familiar with, and that it was with the base 10 or the decimal number system, and just review what the numbers in a base 10 number system mean. So, for example, let's say we had the number 83,125. Now, while we all know what that number means, it means there's 83,125 counts or, or things or, or whatever. But if we break this down, you'll note that each one of these numbers is in a particular position, and that pr position is important because it refers to how many or how much that place is worth. So in the base 10 number system, each time we move over from move over to the left, we're increasing the, the value of that position by a factor of 10. So starting in the first position, this, this position here, the 5, the multiplying factor that that 5 is multiplied by is 1. Then the second position is the 10's position, so you multiply the number in that position by 10. The third position is the 100's position, you multiply that number by one, uh, 100. And then we have the 1000's position and the 10,000's position. Another way to look at it is that the first position is worth 10 to the 0 power, or that number multiplied by 10 to the 0 power, which is 1. The second position increased by a factor of 10, so that's the 10 to the 1 power. So the number in the second position is multiplied by 10 to the 1 power, or 10. The third position is 10 to the second power, or 100, and then 10 to the third power, and then 10 to the fourth power. So we've got the the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and in each number in that each one of those positions is multiplied by the factor of, of that position. So we could break this down then to be equal to, if, we, if we're looking at each one of the number positions, that be 8 times 10 to the fourth, or 8 times 10,000 for the 8th position, or the, the ten thousands position, plus 3 times 10 to the third, or a thousand plus one times ten squared or a hundred plus two times ten to the first which should be a hundred two times ten to the first which is ten plus five times ten to the first which is five so adding those numbers together we get eighty three thousand one hundred and twenty five one other thing to note for the base ten or the decimal number system is we also have 10 different digits to represent our numbers, and of course those numbers are the numbers from 0 up to 9. So when we're counting, we count, we start at 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now when we get to 10, we can't represent 10 with a single, with a single cipher like this. We have to carry over into the next column, so we put a 1 in the next column, so that, that 1 is then equal to the, 1 in this column is then equal to 10, plus whatever is in the next column. Uh, the ones column, so then we can again start counting after 10 to 11, 12, 13, 14, so these numbers again will be increasing by 1 once we reach the 9, then it rolls over, or carries over into the tens column. The base 2 number system works very similarly, and actually you could even argue that it works in a much more simple, simple manner. There's only two possible digits, 1 and 0, so when you start at 0, you need to count to 1, and then you have to carry over your count into the next column. So, for, so if we have a number, something like 101101 in base 2, designated as base 2 with a little 2 down there, each one of these columns has a different place weighting value, and the place weighting value increases by a factor of 2 every time you move over to the left. So the first place value here, this is one's equal to 2 to the 0 or 1, the second place is equal to 2 to the 1, which is 2. The third, the third column is equal to 2 squared, or 4, and then 2 cubed, or 8, and then 2 to the 4th power, or 16, and finally 2 to the 5th power, at least finally for this number, 2 to the 5th power, or 32. So now if we want to figure out what, what this one, number 101101 is equal to in a form that we represent, that we recognize more readily, in other words, the base 10 or the decimal number system, we can look at each one of the weightings for each one of the, each one of the columns and add all of those columns together. So in the first column we'll have 2 to the 5th times 1 plus 0 times 2 to the 4th plus 1 times 2 to the 3rd 
plus 1 times 2 squared plus 0 times 2 to the first power, so that'll be just a 0, plus 1, or 1 times 2 to the 0 power. And if we add all these numbers together, we'll get, we have 32 plus 0 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1, which is equal to 45 in base 10. So we have a fairly simple technique to convert from binary numbers into decimal numbers, which is much more read readily recognized by us since we're so used to using the base 10 number systems. So let's just do a couple more examples just to fully familiarize us with this conversion from binary numbers into the f number form that we are more familiar with, the base 10 form. So if we have a base 2 number, let's say the number is 11101010 zero. In each one of these locations there's a value which is either just a zero or a one and then each one of the positions also has the weighting to it. So this is the, the weighting in the first column is one, then two, then four, then eight, then 16, 32, 64, 128. So all we need to do is look at the value in each position and add up all of those values together and we will determine what the number is. So this number will be, let's see what did I say, I said 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So it'll be 128 plus 64 for this one, plus 32 for this one, plus 0. This is the 16th column. There's a zero, in, 0 value in it. The next value over is the 8th column. So it'll be plus 8 plus in the fours column is a zero, in the twos column there's a one, so it'll be a two, and in the ones column there's a zero. So if we, add, if we add all of these numbers together, we will have this value in decimal form. And adding all those numbers together gives us a value of 234 in base 10. And this, of course, was starting off with base two. All right, let's look at another number. Let's make it a one, zero, 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 one. All right, so this is a base two number. And as we move from the least significant number, the least significant bit or the rightmost bit to the most significant bit or the, the leftmost bit, we are increasing each column by a factor of two. So this column is worth one, this column is worth two, then four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. So this one's a fairly simple conversion. There's only a one here in the 512 column and a one here in the ones column. So that will be equal to 512 plus one, which is of course 513 in base 10. So I hope you learned a little bit about binary and decimal number systems and I'll see you in the next video.